Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a fun challenge video. I got an email from Juno & Co, which is where I got my velvet sponge. They emailed me asking me what I thought about a challenge. The challenge is applying my makeup, full face makeup, just using the velvet sponge. So I accepted the challenge. This is going to be so much fun. And I mean everything. I'm going to try to do my brows. I'm going to try to do a little bit of eyeliner and then my mascara. So let's see how it goes. So if you want to see me get ready just using my velvet sponge, just keep on watching. So I've been loving it. Look at <laughs> It's too much. Too much love. It's, but it's, hey, it's still holding on. So this is the one I've been using like every day since I've gotten the sponge. I love the sponge. So I got two extras. I actually bought these for a giveaway. I bought the four pack. I just gave one away from my giveaway and I just gave another one away. So I'm going to be purchasing for the more giveaways. But these are amazing. They're only six bucks. There's a pack of four for I think like $20. So I'm going to be using these as my backups. And let's get started. Okay, first I'm going to prime my... Let's see my eyes. I'm gonna prime my face with that Too Faced Hangover uh, Replenishing Face Primer. I always just use my fingers for this, but since we're doing this challenge, I'm gonna dab it like that. And I'm gonna open a new one. I'm gonna you wanna use it dry. For my moisturizer. Let's see how that goes. So, okay, this is dry. This is wet. Next, I'm going to be using my favorite primer. Look at how much love is going. It's last to me, too. I got it. I don't remember when I got it. In March? April? One of those. So, I'm, I'm going to be using the Touch and Soul No Problem Pore Blemo Primer. I'm going to apply it on the sponge. A bit there. For my pores. I'm all stuffed up because I have my allergies right now. So sorry if I sound sick or stuffy. Anyways, applying that and get a little bit more for my forehead. My forehead is my more moist, my most oily. So far, so good. And my face part applying makeup is not the one I'm worried about. It's the eyes. Okay. Now let's go in for foundation. Foundation, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me New Look Dewy and Smooth Normal to Dry Foundation. Just put that. And I'm going to be using my wet sponge. I love this sponge, it just gives you like a full coverage and basically all the foundations. It doesn't suck up the foundation on your sponge like other sponges. It gives you a nice flawless finish. Which, who doesn't love a flawless finish on their face? Okay, coarse concealer. And that same wet one. Oh. 
All right, now on my Huda Beauty Pound Cake Setting Spray. Ooh. And I'm gonna be using my dry, <laughs> my dry powder wash. I'm gonna be using the wet one first for under the eye. Oh, let's see how much of the brows. <laughs> Let's do the brows. I'm not gonna do a lot, but okay with the tip. I'm gonna be taking my Anastasia Brow Powder Dual, and then ooh, look at that. My brows are all messy anyways. I need a wax. I need to go to Benefit Brow Bar. It's hard, but it's fun. Okay, this is the best I can do. Try to clean up my finger, because I don't want to mess it up even more. Oh, that's the best I can do with the brows. It's not going any darker or anything. Okay, brows are uh, done, kind of, sort of, in the way. Best I can do, I'm trying to do a sponge, just a sponge. So next is my eyes. I'm gonna open up a new one for the eyes. You can totally, you can totally just use one sponge, but I'm just doing it so I won't have to clean the sponge every time. Now for the eyes, I'm gonna be using, let's see. Okay, for my eyes, I'm gonna be using the Elements Urban Decay Palette, and I am going to be, <laughs> let's see how this works. Brand new sponge dry. I'm gonna be going with this color right here. Look at that. Tap, tap, flexes. I'm like blending it in the crease. I'm trying to blend it. Hey, it's going on pretty good. And I still have some on there. Not bad. This is the other eye. Let's just do a darker shade. Let's get wild and risky. Okay, tip. How do I do this? This way? Let's do the other side. Tip, and I'm going in with this elemental darker shade right here. Just a little darker. Just a little. Let's do the outer crease. Outer crease, the outer corner. Ooh. I'm getting messy here. Blend it. <laughs> oh. oh, 
I don't know why this ad coming out more that way. <laughs> okay, got that. Now let's do a shimmer shade. Shimmer shade, shimmer shade. I don't want to do fool's gold. That's pretty good for a sponge. Playing it. Where is it? It's a and this one's dry, not wet. This one is dry. Hmm. Pretty good. Now let's blend. Blend, blend, blend. <laughs> best I can do. Sure is the best I can do. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Hula Beauty. Hula Beauty. Hula by Benefit. Let's do this. Oops. I think I put too much. Whoa. Okay, I did put too much. That's crazy. And it is powder. Blending nicely. Mm. Let's do the double chin. So far, so good. Look at that. Okay, blush, blush. I'm gonna be using my favorite blush from Sigma. It's the Cor de Rosa. It's this one right here. Apply that. Dry as well. Whoa. I don't know why I always make it like seem like I'm not gonna get enough. Whoa, look at that. Okay, I'm going to be starting off with the liquid highlighter and then I'm going to be going in with a powder highlighter. So for liquid, I'm going to be use Perla. Perla. With, I don't know, with, from Anastasia Beverly Hills. makes everything better always okay now I'm gonna be using powder highlighter from them hyper real glow from Mac this is the uh, I don't know the gold one I don't know which one I'm gonna be using these two and I'm gonna be taking this dry one
So there's my face. I don't know why I did it like I was singing. <laughs> now we're gonna be using eyeliner. Oh crap, I don't even know how I'm gonna do that. I want you to do a little more challenging for myself. I'm gonna be using Sigma Beauty's Wicked Eyeliner, the gel liner. <laughs> what the heck I'm doing? Why am I doing this to myself? Why am I why am I making it harder? I have no idea why. Okay, just the tip. I'm not doing no wing or anything, I'm just putting eyeliner. Just to do it a little more challenging. No, I can't even see the going in deeper. How the heck am I gonna do this? <laughs> this is so funny. I can't see. The sponge is in the way. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I cannot see. I can't do that inner corner. Come on, Tiffany, you can do this. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Oh, I poked my eye. <laughs> Okay, that's the best I can do for eyeliner. Oh my gosh. Poked my eye. We can say I smoked it out. I smoked it out. There you go. Do I really have to do the other eye? Just kidding. First one's always harder, right? Oh my god. I cannot see that. Inside of ah! I'm gonna blend it a little bit more because it looks faded right here. And there you go. Boom. Smoked out eyeliner. <laughs> Best I can do, but I challenge myself to try to do eyeliner, so. Okay, now for mascara. So I'm gonna be using the same sponge with I use my eyeliner. This mascara. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Let's see if this works. I can feel some mascara going in my eyelashes. The best I can do. They challenged me to do the whole makeup video. Makeup video. They challenged me to do the whole makeup with the sponge, so. We are doing the whole makeup. Just wait till we get to the lipstick. Okay, best I can do with mascara and eyeliner. So sorry, it's not perfect. Cannot do this with the one, just one. Just using my sponge. Okay, lipstick. Lipstick, lipstick, lipstick. What lipstick should we do? For lipstick, I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty and Bombshell. Bombshell. Liquid lipstick. Taking it. The tip. Of my sponge, and we are going to apply it. Actually, it feels good. I'm 
Wow. I actually did my lipstick with the sponge and it was easy. And it went on so smooth. I cannot believe how smooth it went on. I actually like this applicator better than any other lipstick applicator. Wow. Oh my gosh. I'm so, how everybody says shook. Okay, I'm not gonna touch it anymore. I'm not gonna touch it. So that completes this look, this <laughs> messy look. I just use the velvet, I use two dry and one wet. Oops. I just used the velvet sponge. I used one dry for my foundation, my concealer, and my powder, and two dry for everything else in my face. Well, those are some messy eyebrows. I need to get them done. It was a really big challenge, especially with the eyeliner and mascara. I just wanted to go for it and just try every single thing with it. That's the challenge that shows every single thing with the velvet sponge. It was so much fun. I am so surprised how well the lipstick one was. Just, I mean, it went on so smooth just a little bit. Went a long way on my lips. So thank you so much Juno and Cole for reaching out and giving me this challenge. I'm so glad I accepted it. It was so much fun to film. It's not perfect, but it was a lot of fun. Now I challenge you to try to do your whole face just using the velvet sponge. I'll leave the link down below where you can get yours. So these are only $6 and you will not regret it. These are the best beauty sponges ever and so affordable. I love this sponge. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun, messy challenge. Remember I challenge you to try to use just your velvet sponge. Your full face, I mean full face. I did eyebrows, eyeliner, <laughs> and mascara. Oh my gosh, so much fun. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.